Thank you to the person who broke this TLC uh, news to me, but I had to go Google it and look it up afterwards. And yes, it is confirmed. This is People Magazine, and it's based on a uh, TLC Instagram post, which is Alec Baldwin and his wife, who <laughs> uses a fake accent, <laughs> pretends she doesn't know English, um, and Alec Baldwin, who is soon going to have on trial for the Rust shooting, if that doesn't make sense to you, go Google all that, um, is going to have a reality show on TLC coming out in 2025. So that's super crazy. Um, I will almost certainly cover it because it's on TLC and that is my niche. And it sounds kind of insane because I've definitely followed all the news about his wife pretending that she doesn't speak English as a first language, even though she was born here, she lived here. I guess their family vacationed in Spain. Um, I I vacationed, not another country, but I, there are particular words that I speak, speak differently than where I grew up. But I have a pretty good handle on most of those things. So it's kind of wild that she pretends like she doesn't speak English and she'll be like, oh, I forgot the, I forgot the English word for, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Kind of a wild setting. I do have a very small connection to the Baldwin family. Very small connection. And I'll just tell the abbreviated version of the story because there's really nothing else to add to this. So if you're here, you can keep listening. Which is years ago, I met Stephen Baldwin at a charity event. He was a new Christian at the time. It was a Christian event. My family, my parents specifically, are were big in Christian foundations and stuff. And Stephen Baldwin was working with Luis Palau, the Palau in organization um, for an event called Living It, which was a Christian BMX and skateboarding D, uh, DVD that they were doing. It was actually really cool. I, I still have it every uh, somewhere. I met Stephen Baldwin. My dad was like, hey, me and my daughter. And Stephen was like, hey, cool, awesome. You know, we're going to do an event kind of where you live. Why don't you come out and take pictures? I'll get you a VIP pass. To be clear, he was always super appropriate. This was when I was younger. He was not being weird at all. So I never had any problems with him. Um, in that sense. Anyway, while I was at this event, he introduced me to his friend. I believe his name is Ryan. Ryan Dobson, who is James Dobson's son, who my father also knows. And if you are, if you were raised Christian around the time that I was raised, you most certainly know who James Dobson is. And then Stephen uh, basically set up a blind double date between me and Dobson Jr., and uh, Ryan Dobson and uh, went on a double date with us, essentially. It wasn't really a double date because he was there with another friend. But we went out to Hollywood to um, to go out playing pool with Stephen Baldwin, which was a wild experience because everybody knew who he was. Like maybe not every person, but an, if, you know, one in 20, one in 30 people – go know who you are and you go out in public. It's kind of a wild experience. Cause I remember what we went up to ask about getting, you know, reservations for a pool table. And the woman was like, Oh, of course, Steven, we'd love to give you a table. Just give me a few minutes. By the way, I love the usual suspects. And people kept coming by and like saying like, Oh, I loved you in this. I loved you in that. And he was like super chill. Like, Hey, thanks. But I realized what it meant to be a celebrity out where people know who you are, what a different world it is. And it was a nice evening. I dated Ryan for maybe a month afterwards. And then he was like, we're going different places in life and like dumped me. And I think he like was already dating someone else, like one of those things. Um, but the funniest thing from that whole thing was Stephen was telling us all these funny stories and he kept saying, oh, this one time on set and his friend would go, was it Biodome? Was it Biodome? So he'd be like, oh, this one time on set, was it Biodome? And it was like kind of annoyed him, but it was also really funny. Uh, if you don't know Biodome, you got to go look it up. It's like not – it's not his best movie. I don't know if it's his worst, but it certainly is I think maybe his most famously worst one. But it was a great joke. But anyway, so I always pay extra attention to the Baldwins because of that. Um but yeah, and I, of course, I haven't seen Stephen Paul, but I think I still have his number on my phone. He put in my phone as like Uncle Stevie or something, but you know, whatever. Um, I don't call people I know. I'm certainly not calling straight, you know, people I haven't seen in 18 years. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so old. Anyway, so anyway, if you stay to the end, you get a million gold stars for today. Congratulations.